According to latest reports, the first Apache helicopter for the Indian Air Force will arrive by mid-July, and will be inducted into the service a few weeks later, at a frontline Air Force station which already holds a unit of Russian combat helicopters. Boeing has already handed over the first Apache to the Indian Air Force at a production facility in Arizona on 11 May 2019, and the first helicopter is slated to arrive on July 18, and will come from the US in a C-17 heavy lift cargo plane. These helicopters will provide a significant edge in future joint operations in support of the land forces, as the Apache is fitted with new sensors and avionics, and has improved night operation capabilities, along with the capability to control a couple of unmanned aerial vehicles. China bought about 1,000 R-77 air-to-air systems from Russia in 2008, and later produced a less capable PL-12 air-to-air system. China gained access to a lot of data on AMRAM technology and capabilities, and realized that the R-77 is not a capable long-range system. China later developed the 70 km range PL-12 air-to-air system with Russian help and licensed technology, and also developed an improved PL-15 air-to-air system into service, which has a range of over 200 km. Although the Chinese models look good on paper, they have not been used in combat and experts have said that the Israeli IDB has a lead in this area, but India needs the permission of Russia for the integration of IDB on Su-30 fighter jets. Meanwhile, India has ordered close to 300 R-73 short-range air-to-air systems, and 400 R-77 medium-range air-to-air guided systems from Russia. According to latest reports, Hindustan Aeronautics has invited Indian private defense manufacturing companies to boost the manufacturing of the civil version of the Dhruv helicopter under a transfer of technology contract. The Secretary of Defense Production has said that the private sector should grab the huge opportunity, as the helicopter has a good potential in domestic and global civil market with over 600 helicopters, and the deal will also help to develop the aerospace ecosystem in India. India and Turkey have decided to explore the opportunities in enhanced defence ties, and there was a general discussion between Prime Minister Modi and the Turkish President, on how the two countries can work together on defence matters. The spokesman of the Ministry of External Affairs has briefed on the bilateral meeting which took place on the sidelines of G20 summit, and some discussions also took place on joint defence manufacturing. Turkey is keen on expanding defense industrial cooperation with India, and has already offered its combat drones during the visit of the Turkish president to India in 2017. The Indian Defense Minister has said that the government has no plans to phase out the AN-32 transport aircraft from the Indian Air Force, and the government intends to upgrade the entire fleet with better avionics and airframe reinforcement in phases. The Indian Air Force is also in the process of finding a modern replacement for the AN-32, which could perform other functions as well. The Mirage 2000 fighter jet has completed 34 years of service in the Indian Air Force, which recently captured the public's imagination with its performance in the Balakot operation. The Mirage 2000 fleet has maintained a much higher serviceability rates as compared with Russian-origin aircraft like the MiG-29 and Su-30. The Indian Air Force has also signed a $2.1 billion contract to upgrade its fleet of Mirage 2000 with new sensors and air-to-air -air systems. In a bid to check growing influence of China and Pakistan in the Indian Ocean, India's research and analysis wing is bolstering up its maritime intelligence network, and is laying more emphasis on the Arabian Sea region. Maldives had become the overseas hub of Pakistan's spy agency during the tenure of the former president of Maldives, and was encouraging anti-India activities which was operated from the Pakistani embassy, which was also backed by the Chinese spy agency. A secret report of the intelligence agency reveals that the Indian agency successfully thwarted the nefarious designs in the strategic island of Maldives, and this situation changed after the new president took charge in November 2018.